Today I'm making a tutorial on how to do opens simulations. Because Box 7 for 7 Clem asked for a tutorial, so here you are. For space in, you gotta click the plus button to add a planet, such as Earth, Mercury, etc. The planet will appear with the particles you set the simulation to we will get to that later you can edit the planet as you like making it bigger smaller more mass etc you can reset the property of the planet you change to default by pressing right click so you don't struggle putting it in a pixel perfect you can put the velocity it can go and yes you can put it to the speed of light even though it might crash because of processing a big movement in a frame then you add a planet that impacts with the other like mercury impacting to earth like i did here you can set the velocity mass size etc dot dot as i said before you want to 10 km collision put the size to 10 kilometers if you want as the moon on the moon or set the size to 3480 kilometers at 50 plus then you start the simulation with the button that has two options one with the red dot which is to record and the second one to just see how it would go and if you want to change something then if you are good with how it went, press the button with the red dot and it will record too. Even though the simulation preview for you is slow, but the software will automatically make a time lapse. After you press the square button in the corner, it's going to stop and that message will pop up saying where it saved the file and you can open the folder it saved it if you want. Then you can set the particle amount by going to the center button of the corner and it will appear at the top. Here I set it to 100,000, which looks more realistic, but it's way more slow. At processing, Beak used my 1 million particle video took 4 hours to render. And that's it for Space Sim. Now let's go to Opens. For Opens, it's way more simple. First, you need to click the plus button on the Presets tab to add a preset. Then, after clicking the Asteroid Collision preset, like me, that will appear where you edit the particles on top and the size it's down there. The target body is the body the asteroid collides to, and the impactor body is the one that impacts. Then after that, because the sub count blocks it, you click the simulation tab, and then start run, then it will start the simulation, and if you want it to last more, go to the fragmentation part, and it will appear on top the amount of seconds, it will run, remember it takes more if it's more time, then start the simulation, and edit some more things if you need to then after that we will just render it which will be later on if you want the asteroid to go faster go to geometry and the impact angle and velocity will appear you can edit those too as you like then when you want to render it click on the rendering tab and click render animation and a camera Connect the particles dot with the other particles dot in the fragmentation part and the camera dot to the dot in the camera you selected. Then click on the rendering animation tab and on top the directory where the frames will go will be on top you. Just put the directory there where you want to save it. Then click rendering and render and it will render it even though if it jumps. An error you can just record the simulation and then time lapse it instead of rendering it. But anyway, that was the tutorial for Opens and Space Sim. Hope it was useful and you do some simulations and stuff. Bye.